Hello students, welcome to Tech Box. So we are under the revision series for computer science with Python class 12. Okay, let us solve this question today. So this is the most important and most expected questions from the computer science class 12. Let us move on to the video quickly. So just read the question. Predict the output of the following code fragment. So this type of questions are continuously asked in your exams but these are very easy questions. If you have made any silly mistakes in this type of questions, you will be easily losing your marks. So you should be concentrated in this type of questions while writing in your exams. So let us read the flow of execution, how the program is getting executed now. Okay, so the first the flow of execution begins on the function header statement. And this function header statement has the function name as prop and it has two arguments s1 and s2 respectively okay after reading the function header statement all the statement inside this function header will not get executed it will get skipped okay secondly it will be executing the global statement so the global statement is nothing but the statement which is outside the function okay so this a comma b are the variables which is assigned for fun and day okay a is for fun and b is for day respectively okay hope you all understand until this and this prog is the function name so what it means this prog is getting called the function is getting called here now a becomes fun and b becomes day okay once the function is getting called what will happen so this fun is passed on to s1 that is a value fun is getting passed on to s1 now the value of s1 is fun here and the value of b that is day will be getting passed on to s2 that is s2 contains day now okay after that what will happen let us write s1 and s2 here s1 is equal to fun and s2 is equal to day okay what will be next step okay once the function is getting called and the values are passed on to the corresponding values then l1 is initialized to an empty list here and l2 is also initialized to empty list the next for loop comes for x in s1 so what is x here so x is nothing but the characters so x is nothing but the characters which is inside this s1 okay let us write it here on the side for x in s1 what is s1 here s1 is fun understand what you should do l1 dot append of x so let us write that statement also l1 dot append of x so this append function will do the appending okay so appending Form and this x will be getting appended to l1 each time so normally l1 is your empty list now so let us write it now l1 is your empty list now the value of l1 is getting appended with the values of x separately okay on the first iteration it will be iterating f and appending the f on the l1 on the second iteration it will be reading u iterating u and writing it on appending it on the l1 list and on the third iteration n okay it will read n and it will be appending n characters separately onto the list l1 okay so the iteration of l1 becomes finished now and the next iteration for loop x in s2 what is the next iteration for x in s2 S2 is nothing but day here, B, A, Y, day. Understand? Now, what is the next, next statement? L2 dot append of X. L2 dot append of X. So, same here, the value of X is appended here to L2. Okay. So, L2 is your empty list. What will happen? So, the list will be appending the characters line by line. So first it will read the x as d. So it will be appending the d separately as a string. Secondly it will be appending a. And on the third iteration it will be appending y as the separate characters. So the complete string is getting what? Separated. Okay. Separated into each character. 
So what is the next statement? So the next statement which is given here is return L1, L2. So this return function will be returning this L1 and L2 to A, B. Now A becomes L1 and B becomes L2. Okay, now A becomes what? L1 and B becomes L2. Okay, so this L1 is getting passed on to A and L2 is passed on to B. So next it is printing A, B. So how it is getting printing A, B? First A will be getting printed. A is nothing but F, U, N. And close the list, B. So what is your B? Open the list and B is nothing but D, A, Y. And close the list. So this is your output. Okay. So this is your output for this program. So don't write this list line by line, one after the other, as because they have given A, comma B, one after the other. So you should write the list also in the output section one after the other. So hope you all understand this. Predict the output of this following code fragment question. And we will see on the next video. Until then, study well for your examinations. Thank you.